appreciate been, it. Been looking forward to this. And likewise. <laughs> well, so look, um, a few weeks ago at uh, Bombers of Kenya, you were there along with a, along, uh, with a whole bunch of ambassadors, dim diplomatic corps, and a whole host of Kenyans for an historic, uh, historic event, the BBI. Yeah. So, yeah. so the awaited mu BBI. The much awaited BBI. Yeah. Your, your thoughts, thoughts <laughs> sir, first of all, what, what, what did you think of that event? Well, I think, I think it was positive. I think it was a step forward for Kenya. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, I agree or anyone agrees with everything that was presented. Uh, I think it's going to be a good discussion. I think it is the uh, basis for a uh, healthy, uh, crucial conversation that the country needs to have. Uh, I think yeah, I was encouraged by the, the call for unity. Uh, I was encouraged by the call for peace. And in that environment, I think some great things can take place over the next uh, year. And um, I think it was, it was a call for uh, people to uh, show their, their, their love for, for country and not self. Yeah. I think it was a call for politicians not to divide uh, because the division is not as great as politicians sometimes make it out to be. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, we have tribes that uh, have, have really become better at living together and, uh, and marrying one another and going to church together and, and living together. And, and it's, it's only, it, it seems to be typically when some of the politicians want that bigger piece of the pie of the vote that they divide. Yeah. And yeah. so I think um, the, the setting was good. The message was good. Now there needs to be, a, again, a crucial conversation about what was recommended and uh, how the country goes forward. Yeah. Um, it's funny you say that because we're great at talking. We're great at talking the talk. Exactly. It's time now to walk the walk. That's right. And I think, you know, the, the Wenatchee are going to have to hold people accountable. I mean, no longer can you just say, yeah, I care for you and vote for me. Um, and, uh, and, and not be obligated to deliver something. Um, I, I think the, the, the people, this is like anywhere, this is like in America. This is no different. This is no different any other democracy where the people have to step up and, and demand that accountability. And, and it's easier with transparency. And I, I think those are some of the measures that we can take. If, 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 if any system can have more transparency, it'll deliver uh, much more accountability. And so I think those are some of the interesting things in the BBI that I liked. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Ambassador, one thing that came across in the BBI uh, event was corruption. And yeah. you've been very outspoken since yeah. the day you arrived. I mean, right. nearly a year later, corruption, the big scourge, the dragon in the room. Are we going to be able to tackle this thing? Well, as you know, I, I call it thievery because I think yeah. it's a better word. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, a, a culture of corruption, which we're dealing with, uh, people can become used to it. They they accustomed to it to where they just kind of uh, placate it, let, let it happen. Uh, I, I think it's much more severe than this. The cost of it is much more severe. It's, it's, it's eight, over 800 billion shillings a year. Um, and, 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 and I see that as a direct injustice to the people because that's good that could have been transferred to the people. That's, that's, uh, that's the big four. It doesn't matter what your politics are. Uh, anyone can say, uh, they, they can't deny that the big four are good for people. They all want to eat. They all want to work. They all, they, they all want to have good health care, right? They all want to have housing. And, and if that's the cost of the big four, which it is, ironically, why wouldn't we say yes to that and no to the thievery? And, and I know it's not just as easy to say no, but I think someone in my position with, with the, 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 the strong voice that I can have being from the United States of America, I think the United States is, as a good friend to Kenya, needs to stand strong against the thievery. And so that's, uh, that's, that's my thinking coming into this. That's my thinking going forward. And um, according to the law, we're gonna do whatever we can to, uh, to make a statement that if you, if you have ill-gotten money, uh, we really don't want you coming to America and spending it on your kids. Because the, the truth is this, when you go to the villages, there, there's, a, there's, a mom, there's a mom there that fights hard every day, does everything she can to keep her kids in school. Yet they get kicked out for school fees once every three years. And now they're behind two standards. And you wonder why, it's because they didn't have the school fees. And so why should we allow people with ill-gotten gain to give their kids the best of education in the world 
when they've literally stolen it from the Wenatchee. Yeah, a recent headline uh, that you mentioned that former Attorney General Amos Wako headline from the State Department mm. is barring him, his wife, his son from ever entering America. Mm. Obviously, you know, next day he holds a press conference saying, you're daring uh, the U.S. administration, dare me uh, not to come to your country. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think um, it's unfortunate that's his attitude about it. Uh, but these are, you know, we have designations where we can make names public, and he fit it. And uh, this, is not an e this is not an easy test. We don't, we don't do this just because we, we think someone's a bad person. We, we actually have evidence that we have to, uh, we have to prove, and we have uh, levels of, of evidence that we have, to, you know, we have to make sure that's really there. And uh, we've, done our, we've done our homework. We've uh, done everything according to that uh, qualification, and uh, we've made it public. Now, we can't make, you know, we do other things. We, we have the ability to revoke visas, and, and we, we, uh, we are doing that. We just can't make that public according to the law. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people, you know, they want me to name and shame, and they want me to, you know, just, you know, list all these names. We're not going to do that. One, we can't do it by law. Two, um, some things I don't talk about because, uh, as I've said before, I don't want to educate thieves. Uh, some, some folks need to be surprised when uh, DCI, whoever it is, starts knocking at their door. Are you saying more is coming? Well, I, think, I think it has to be. I think this is. Uh, I mean, I, I mentioned the enorm, how enormous this pro, this you know, this issue is. Uh, absolutely, there's there's not one or two people that are uh, stealing 800 billion shillings. Yeah. Look, ambassadors before you have been as vocal, yeah. singing the same song, mm -hmm. and still, not much is done. Mm -hmm. What makes you think you'll be different? Well, I'm, I'm not going to take, um, I don't take on the responsibility to fix the problem in, in you know, entirety. Uh, the truth is the people of Kenya are going to have to step up as well. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to shore up and, and help these systems of law and order, uh, you know, uh, be effective. We, we, are, we are training prosecutors. We just finished training 30 new prosecutors. We are training investigators. We're helping them be better. We're giving them the tools to be better, to, to, to find the thieves and, and, and to collect evidence against the thieves. We're, we're doing everything we can. We're, we're involved with the judiciary system. We're, we're, we're putting our best people and a lot of money into those systems because ultimately this is about self-reliance. This is not about the United States saving Kenya. This is not about the United States having, having, taking on the responsibility to convict you know, the thieves. This is about going down the pathway to self-reliance to where Kenya does this on their own. And we just do what a friend does, and that's we just help. Yeah. And when the thief, and you call them thieves, that's what they are, when they turn around and they give you the middle finger. So what? It doesn't matter to me. This is my job. This is my job, and that is to, um, to, to make sure the United States of America is the best friend that Kenya ever had. When you go around the country, Ambassador, talking about these issues, what's the response? What are the people saying? Well, it's interesting. Yeah, you, you say there's, there's a few people that uh, are, are giving me the finger. That's, that's okay. Uh, the, the truth is, uh, the, the people at the, on the ground level uh, know that I'm fighting for what's theirs. Uh, that prosperity that has been stolen has been stolen from them. My, my effort is to get it back to them and give them what they deserve. And so uh, that's positive. And, uh, and that's the reason I, I'm getting to every county. Uh, I've, I've, I've got an itinerary from now until the end of uh, March uh, that within one year I'm, I'm, I'm in every county. And uh, I think I can say something here in Nairobi uh, and it can be meaningful, but after you've gone and met with people on the ground, in the county, at every level, when you say it, it has a lot more power because they know you went there, you saw them, you know what their situation is, you know you can feel part of their pain. And uh, so my voice can be much more effective if I've actually connected with people in every county. Yeah. And, and look, let's, let's face it, there's corruption everywhere in the world. We know this. But when you look around at the level of poverty... From, from my state. Yeah. From, from my your, state of Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have some experience with this. One of my, friend, one of my friends in the legislature was just resigned. Because? It, being federally indicted for corruption. I mean, this has happened with two others here in just in the last year. 
uh, I mean, these, these are people. These, these are my people, cohorts that I was serving with in the Illinois State Senate. So I understand. My first race, the first race I ran in politics, was on a county level. I got beat three to one. Two years later, the man I ran against was indicted for corruption. I was just a little ahead of my time. <laughs> I, sh I should have just waited two, two years two and I might have won. <laughs> yeah. But I learned a big lesson in how, how to lose. You think we'll get to that stage, Belosi? Will we get there? I believe so. I, I believe this is a historic time um, in the life, uh, in the history of Kenya. I think um, the rest of East Africa is betting on us. They are hoping, as we said, as we saw with BBI. Foreign Minister of Tanzania shows up and says, listen, you've got to get this right. He, di he, didn't say, he didn't say that because he had personal gain. He knew that East Africa had it to gain. He knew that if we get it right, and, and Kenya leads, and, how, and down this, this, ro this pathway to prosperity, the rest of East Africa wins. And, and, I, and I've said and say again, as Kenya goes, so goes East Africa. As East Africa goes, so goes the continent. Kenya has this great opportunity to lead and to show how to do it right. And so I think this is, we can do it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to take some courage. It's going to take real leadership. But I think uh, there are enough leaders in this country that are ready to step up and uh, take us down that pathway to prosperity. You're very optimistic, Belosi. It's, it's, uh, it's my job. It's, it's part of my job. And it, and it, and it's something that I really believe. Uh, it's something I believe for many years, and 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 I and I I get that from the the relationships that I have with people in this country, because I know them, I know their level of courage, I know their level of integrity, and and yes, we have some people that have been leading us that that that, that have obviously shown us that they don't have integrity, but I think it takes a handful that do, and we have that handful. When you first came here 32 years ago, yeah. did you see that? Did you see that? Um opportunity in this country this country could get it right probably not then I think you know I was uh, myopically focused on uh, helping a few people in a county that nobody knew about I mean you know I mean these, these were I mean what is the rock and Ethy known for other than the swing vote you know I mean seriously <laughs> and, 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 and some good goats and good honey that's about it but uh, but I but they were they just happened to be where I was at and they needed help and so that's what my father said, that's what I said, and uh, I just committed to them. And, and I guess I've done that my whole life. I, I've, I've tried to put blinders on and, and focus on the people that are in front of me and serve the people that are in front of me. And at that time, I was looking at that county and those, those people from Bukotima that uh, just needed some help. And so I didn't see it then, but I definitely see it now. Yeah. Uh, when we go, when you go back then, I know you've been there a couple of times since you came as ambassador. Was that like coming full circle sort of thing? Is that what it was like? It was. It was. Um, I had never thought that I would be ambassador. But then again, I never thought I'd be senator. I never thought I'd be on the county board. Uh, I just saw when I came back for even from from Kenya, I, I saw injustice in my community, and that's why I ran for office. And uh, I lost a few times, but then I won. And, 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 and I, it just, again, I, I never, I try not to look for the future in my next job. I try to do the best job I can at the one I have right now. And so, uh, no, I didn't see it now, but, I, uh, but I'm, I, everything that you do in life tends to build on itself and get you to the next level. And you've seen that in your whole career. You, you can look back. I mean, you, you, you probably never knew you'd be sitting here with me, right? I <laughs> in mean, this beautiful compound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, you yeah. know, this is what happens, and, and, and I, I believe God builds you and pre, pre, um, uh, keeps you, prepares you for that next level of responsibility and authority. And because cause with that great authority comes a lot of responsibility. Yeah. You think Kenyans realize we are at the cusp, we are at a crossroads right now. Do you think we realize it? Um, I hope so. I hope so. I, 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 want, I want my positive outlook to rub off on them. I, I want them to know that, uh, that the vision that I have for Kenya is possible. Um, and that is that Kenya should no longer be just the, you know, the uh, beneficiary of, public, of, of uh, foreign aid. 
but they should be the benefactor for the rest of East Africa. Uh, I, I believe that can take place. I believe the resources are here in this country, the people, which is the greatest resource they have. Uh, specifically, that 70% of the population that's, uh, that's 30 years and younger, those young people. Those young people are innovative. They, they've got grit. They've had to go through some tough stuff to overcome. Uh, but they're prepared to really launch us into a, an economy that is uh, completely rejuvenated and spills over to the rest of East Africa. So I, I, I think it's important for me to always just talk about that and paint that picture ahead so that just enough people get, a, get an understanding of it and believe that they can do it, and that's when it'll happen. Plus, you want to talk more about that after the break, and also talk about Kenya's role, not just in the region, but in the world. There's a free trade agreement coming up, which you are part of, which you are very uh, personal uh, to you. I want to talk a bit about that, and also the onslaught of China. Man, China, China, China. They're all over the map. What's the U.S. doing about that? Will China take over Africa one of these days? Talk about that. Jeff, can I get live on the road? That's right, we are in U.S. territory. Might as well be in the U.S., right? That's right. <laughs> Talking to U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Kyle McCarter. He's been here eight, nine months. And I tell you, he's seen more counties than many of us will. He plans to see the rest of them, all 47, he says, by the early next year. We're talking issues affecting our country right here on Jeff Koinange Live. Keep tweeting at Koinange Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment.